flipping pages since I could remember. That told me I had to be. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Today's Style Squad shout out goes to Viola Brown Nail Cover Lover. And if you want to be considered for the Style Squad, don't forget to be the first one to comment on today's video. Today we're just going to do a quick watch me work doing a holographic unicorn design. So for this video, I did keep in the prep of my nails and this is how I would normally prep a human hand as well. So I just wanted to keep this in there. I blended the tips and I have used my 180 grit file to kind of um, etch the nail bed and the tip. This keeps the acrylic sticking to it so that there's no chipping or anything like that. It all becomes, um, the tip does become clear once you add the acrylic back to it. So I'm not concerned about any cloudiness on the other side of the tips and you'll see that. And then once we have that done, we're going to go in with our straight nail clippers and just refine the shape here. We're still going to come in with our nail file and reshape it after we have the acrylic laid as well. But you're going to see me just do the whole prep process here. And I do apologize that my videos have been slower coming. I've been trying to get another business off the ground doing press-ons and prepping and getting everything together. It's been a long process, but I think that I am finally ready to start listing everything. Anyways, you guys will start seeing me doing my press-on designs on here. I actually have one video that I'm editing already that I have done for one of my clients and um, these are press-ons that will be shipped off so yeah Dream machine, racing queen, I'll take you anyway these are two custom acrylics that I've mixed together one is a chunky holographic glitter the other one is a fine silver holographic and so I just come in with the monomer to wet the nail plate and the tip and just assume that I have already used the dehydrator and the primer if this was a human. I'm not wasting those tiny bottles of product on a fake hand but yeah. So this is my silver with the fine holographic glitter in it. It's really pretty and with these you're not building any strength. Remember your colors and glitters are not strength or core acrylics. They are simply just to add color. So you're not going to see me build an apex or anything like that with that. I'm just making sure that the color is uniform and that there's no spots that are any lighter or darker than others. And I'm just going to add all of the same color. So. The ring finger is going to be my accent nail and I'm going to use the chunky glitter on that. This color is really pretty in person. You can't really see the holographic glitters in it um, in this video and I'm not sure why but it is very very holographic and very pretty. So when you are um, laying acrylic, you just want to make sure that you're wiping the, the free edge of the tip or the nail as often as possible because you don't want to lose the shape. And it's going to cause you so much more filing than is necessary. So just lay the acrylic, wipe the edges, flatten the free edge, and then keep going. Your goal is to minimize the amount of filing that you have at the end. Now we're coming in with the chunky holographic glitter acrylic mix and we're just doing as thin a layer as possible to allow the coverage that I want and um, we're going to cap all of this in clear so it's um, 
if you don't, it's going to obviously be bumpy, but um, along with that, as I previously mentioned, the colors and glitters are not core acrylics. They're not strengths, and um, a matter of fact, when you start adding color and when you start adding glitters, the acrylic loses the integrity. So even if you mix it into a core acrylic, it's no longer a core. So um, it can cause lifting if you have problems with lifting or anything like that, um, and you normally don't cap your uh, colored or glitter acrylics, that may be a reason why. So now we're just going to come in with some other holographic glitter shapes. I have some hearts and some unicorns. I have some hollowed out hearts and some solid tiny little hearts that I'm just placing on this finger. And those that know me know that I'm normally not a fan of unicorns, but um, I have all of this holographic glitter and I had no idea what to do with it so I know those that do know me are probably laughing their ass off right now at me doing this set and um, that's okay you can leave me hate mail down below in the comments I still love you guys <laughs> So now we are capping the um, the snail in clear. We're doing this one first because I don't want any of the glitters to fall off. And as you see, I am still wiping the edges to make sure that it doesn't lose its shape and building that apex. The apex is the strength of the nail. So especially when you have a longer nail like this, you wanna make sure that there is a higher arch in the area where there could be a break in the nail and we're going to cap this one as well. I really made a mistake in doing these nails. There are some things that I would have done different now that I'm looking back at it and once I finished it, you'll see once this is done, it didn't turn out exactly like I wanted it to, but hey, what can I do now, right? As you see, the beads of acrylic on this nail are a bit wetter than what I normally use. This is because this is a chunkier glitter and when you're capping a glitter you want to make sure that the cap does cover the entire glitter um, if not it can cause cracking it can cause lifting and other integrity issues so we just want to make sure that the entire nail is encapsulated in the clear acrylic now I'm adding just a super wet bead of clear acrylic on the entire nail because I'm going to be encapsulating these hollowed out hearts I believe I'm adding four of them to this nail. And the acrylic acts as glue just to hold it down. And then we're going to encapsulate it with our clear acrylic. And as you see, there is a color change when you do encapsulate it. So you do know that it is fully covered in acrylic. The holographicness of the glitter goes away and it looks more of just like a plain silver. And that's how you know that it is all covered. If you see anything sparkly, under the clear acrylic then you know that it has not been fully encapsulated and you need to add more clear acrylic over it. And the acrylic that I am using is the clear core from Young Nails. This is my favorite clear. I have used Mia Secret and they're pretty good as well but um, because this is the same acrylic that I use on my clients it um, this one has been the most loyal to me. I keep it around. <laughs> I've been using this same brand for years and it hasn't done me wrong, so yeah. on this nail is where things started to go south and maybe it was just the um, the gods of the unicorn destroying my beautiful creation who knows <laughs> but um, after this everything went downhill and 
no turning back. It's ugly, but whatever. Mistakes are made, and it's not a client who was unhappy, so um, at least I'm doing it on a, on a silicone hand that can't talk back, right? Anyway, I'll let you finish watching the video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what your thought is on this, uh, I guess, monstrosity of a creation here. And um, yeah, I'll be back with a video, another video in uh, probably in a couple of days. I'm still editing it. I want to get it out before the end of the month, but yeah, I'm just filing it here and um, taking down the bulk and making it pretty, right? That's what the file does, just makes everything pretty. <laughs> moving out any lumps that there may be and sealing in the cuticles. When you seal in the cuticle, you're basically just creating a tight, uh, it's kind of, kind of hard to describe, but you're, you're making a seamless uh, transition from the nail bed to the acrylic so that you can't really see the difference. I recommend creating like just a tiny gap between the uh, the epinachium, the skin on where the nail and the finger meet, and the acrylic itself so that you can see it. And it just basically needs to be seamless, and that prevents lifting. When there's any bulk of acrylic back there, it can definitely cause lifting. Things can catch on it, but it also means that the integrity of your work is not there. So yeah, I'm just using my extra fine grit and smoothing things out. But the rest of the video is pretty self-explanatory. I'll let you finish watching it and uh, yeah, let me know what you think down below and I'll come back with a picture of how everything turned out. Watch me destroy my beautiful creation after this filing. <laughs>
and now on to step two on how to destroy what could have been perfect. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Thanks again for watching and see y'all later.